everyone, I am SimSweetie and welcome to part one of Let's Play The Sims 4 Riot Girl. So if you don't know what Riot Girl is, here is basically my really, 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 really quick summary about it. But if you would like to know more, I would definitely recommend going and just doing a quick Google search, reading the Wikipedia page, and whatever else. So... Basically, according to Wikipedia, Riot Girl is an underground feminist hardcore punk movement that originally started in the early 1990s. So some things the Riot Girl movement kind of addresses is a lot of like feminism stuff and female empowerment and it's really cool and there are a lot of bands basically based around this movement and there are also zines, which if you don't know what a zine is, I suppose to describe it, it's kind of like a self-published mini-magazine, if that makes sense. But there were Riot Girl zines, and I just really think the whole culture... That was a strange way of saying culture. I'm like, culture? I don't know what I'm talking about either. I just think the whole culture is really cool, and I was like, well, let's do a Let's Play on it. True. Now for a little bit about The Sims. So here is Kalani Roka. And yes, I spelled her name wrong on this little picture thing I made, but I don't have time to change it right now, so my apologies. But it happened anyway. So Kalani's traits are genius, self-assured, active, and a quick learner. And her aspiration is to be a computer whiz. So uh, yeah, Kalani is basically not afraid to express herself, neither is the other sim in this let's play though. She's definitely not afraid to express herself, she likes bright colors and tattoos and you know, she wants to, she actually wants to be, you'll see in this part, spoiler alert, not really though. She gets a career as a spy, so she does want to do that kind of thing and just be really cool sim female spy you feel me maybe i think i just hit my microphone with my ponytail all right that's cool and this is vesper westfall which is hard for someone with a lisp to say yes okay so her traits are outgoing creative self-assured and a muser and her aspiration is to be a best-selling author so Vesper, of course, is also very confident in herself, and she wants to be a best-selling female author. I already kind of said that, but yes, and she is more of like the businesswoman kind of thing, whereas I feel like Kalani is more of like the like active kind of person, if that makes sense. If that makes sense, if that makes sense, she's more of like the sporty kind of girl, and Vesper's more of a, like the um, businessy kind of thing. Although Kalani is really smart too. Vesper's smart, also, just to put that out there. Now, if you're like, okay, these two ladies are cool, but why are they living together? Basically, uh, they met on uh, Tumblr, or whatever the Sims equivalent of Tumblr is, and they met each other, and they're like, you're into this strong female kind of thing, and so am I. So they started chatting, and they took a leap of faith and decided to move in together, even though they lived extremely far apart. Now they live together in Oasis Springs, and they're gonna go on some crazy adventures and stuff and things. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that you've seen that intro, and if you're wondering, my videos aren't really normally edited, like in that style normally they're just real chill videos oh and if this is this does happen to be the first video that you are stumbling across me and you were like who is this female my name is macy yes like the department store m-a-c-y and i do let's plays on the sims franchise games mainly the sims 4 now because it is the most recent game I have many Let's Plays on my channel that you can marathon if you do so feel. So, yes, that that is true. And, um, I think I will go ahead and start off by giving you a tour of this house that I did build for them. Oh, and if you can't tell the world we're living in, I told- oh gosh, what is the name of this world? My brain is not working right now. I'm tired, okay guys? Okay, give me some credit. It's a desert world. You know what it is. I don't have to explain. But I did build them this house, and the next video up will be a let's build on this house, so you can 
see the process of building it there, but here is what it looks like with the roof. And you can download this house and these sims on the exchange, so if you would like to know my origin ID, it is real sim sweetie, it's always in the description if you would like to see it, but that is true. So here's a little tour of the house, it's not totally full, and there's not a lot of like greenery in the front yard because we are very low on simoleons right now, but anyway, here's the door. Wasn't that exciting? And here's their little living area. They don't have a TV right now, but they will one day, and a TV will look so nice right there. I did give them a little fireplace, because, I don't know, I just thought it'd feel nice. I don't know. Don't question me. And couch, table, or that's, what, that end table? Yeah, true. Um, living chair, a plant, because plants give off oxygen, which is good for your lungs. And, um, this is a, it's a bookshelf. Fun facts with Macy. Uh, this is a, <laughs> it's like, this is a fridge. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> if you did not know, this is a fridge. Okay. But for reals, this is their kitchen area. I didn't give them like a dining room table because I didn't think they were really going to need it. But I did give them like bar stools. And then this is their office area. Eventually there will be a computer here. There's a mirror here so they can be like, girl, you hot, when they walk past themselves because it's true. Body positivity. And, oh, here's the entrance area. Probably should have showed you that first. It's okay. Here is where they put their fabulous shoes. Don't know which one of them owns the cowboy boots, but it is a fashion statement. Um, and a coat rack. True. And this table for more plants and some beautiful abstract art. And here's a bathroom for all your bathroom needs, which you can't see very easily, but there is a shower, sink, and a toilet in this corner. Yes, okay. And there are stairs right up here, and hopefully there aren't a lot of routing issues with this house. We'll have to test it out and see how that goes. And up here is their pathetic bedroom. There's, like, nothing in here, but, like, they just have beds, some inspiring posters, end tables, lamps. Yes, okay. So... Basically, that's their house, and I mean, you kind of saw the front, but they have, like, stairs and some flowers and stuff such as that, but I think we now can get started. I know there's been a lot of talking in this part, but that's normally how first parts are, so, yeah, true. Um, so we have, oh, and I'm, it's going to take me a while to get to know their names, by the way. So we have Kalani over here reading a book. Let's see what exactly she is reading. She is reading my... Pizzi, pizzicato, pizzicato polka, pizzicato, am I missing a joke here? I don't care. This piece was, oh, it's music, isn't it? This piece was written as an, as an homage, okay, to, oh my gosh, boo holes? Cat? <laughs> Fiona. She loved music and swayed her tail to the beat whenever Elena played. Whenever Fiona is misbehaving, we're not even going to try, plays this pizzicato. I don't know what a pizzicato is. Sorry, guys. Is that a music term? I think it is. But we have Vesper over here making some scrambled eggs, but neither of them are hungry, so we'll save them for later. So I think we should go ahead and get them careers. My headphones are, like, breaking, so I keep, like, not being able to hear any sound. It's really, it's quite stellar. Anyway, let's have them both join a career. So, well, let's start with Kalani. Vesper is grabbing a book here, too, probably because we don't have a computer or a TV. She's reading the glutton spiel. Ooh. Oh, is it like the Hunger Games? Is it? I don't know. I didn't read it. It seems like it'd be like the Hunger Games. Anyway, so you guys know Kalani. She definitely wants to be... Ooh, secret agent? I don't know. I'm kind of deciding here. Or a tech guru would be the other one good for her, probably. I kind of want Kalani to be a secret agent, though. So it says secret agent. Live life unnoticed as a covert operative. From infiltrating enemy headquarters to the art of inter interrogation. I can normally read, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> The more you learn, the, the less you'll be known. Career branches are the Diamond Age... Stuttering. Macy, 
stuttering. Diamond agent and villain. So her hours would, well, she'd make 17 simoleons an hour and work 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. And she would work every day but the weekends. So I think we're going to do that career. I think it can be really interesting. So she starts Monday. That's tomorrow. And then let's get Vesper a job. I really don't know what I want her to do. So I guess I'll figure that out. But can you imagine Kalani as a secret agent? Oh my gosh, she's going to be so awesome. And Vesper will be too, once we decide what job she's going to have. So she definitely likes writing. She could be a writer, but... Or she could do, like, writing as her hobby. But I think I, I, think I might have her be a writer. Or business might be nice too. Um... Hmm. Thinking about this here. Uh, oh, I really don't know, guys. Because she could be, like, an owner of a company, which I feel would be very much something Riot Girl would stand for. But being a female journalist would probably be pretty cool. This is a really tough choice. Oh my gosh, I can't do this! Uh, what pays better? Well, the writing one kind of pays better. Yeah, should we do writer? Let's, I'm spending way too much time on this, but I'm like really thinking about it. Let's do writing. So, oh, I didn't even read you anything about it. Oh, whatever. So, she entered the writing career. She starts Monday at 11 a.m. I believe her hours were 11 to 7. Yes, it says right here. Cool. So, her daily task is going to be to read books. And her daily task is to browse intelligence. How do you browse intelligence? What? What? Aw, oh, look at them. They're such cute friends. So, oh, and you can kind of see... You can kind of see Vesper's tattoo right here. I love their names so much, by the way. I adore the names Kalani and Vesper. They're just the best. So you actually need to do some reading, right? That's what it said, right? Read books. Go ahead and read The Untamed Treachery of the Heart. Are you already reading it? Okay, well, you're already reading it. Um, right? That's what it said. Yeah, read books. What does it mean, browse intelligence? Does that mean we need a computer? I'm gonna Google it. Should I just... Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm not going to bother Googling it. Oops, I dropped the lip, the lip balm on the ground. Um, I really need to buy a computer. How much are the computers? As if you're going to tell me right now. The cheapest computer is 800 simoleons. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Oh, goodness. Let's sell one of their beds. No, but really, though. This is kind of expensive, so if we got rid of it, we'd probably have more money, but, like... No, it's actually not even worth that much. Ah! I mean, it'd be, like, perfectly laid out to buy a computer, but... Eh, what can we sell? What am I willing to give up? I really don't want to give anything up. Like, how much is this worth? Only a hundred and four. Uh, okay, well... Uh, we'll have to figure out how to do her daily task, but I'm pretty sure it's on a computer. So, we will have you instead... Why don't we... I don't know. There's not a lot to do because we don't really have anything to do in the house right now. So, we'll take them out in a couple, hour, but a couple of hours, but I really do want Vesper to... Vesper, finish your daily task. Oh, alright. Well, this is happening. We're just gonna... Let a Kalani work out a little bit, apparently. Okay, they'll both read. As soon as she's done with her daily task, we'll take them both out. Perhaps to, like, the dance, dance club, nightclub, same thing, whatever. We'll see. Okay, oh my god. Kalani could just, like, not decide on a book there for a minute. She picked up, like, four different books, so. Did you finish your daily task? Oh my gosh, you were 75% done. Just read, read real quick. Just finish up, girl. What do you read? The Lord of the Swings. Sounds a little familiar. Did you finish it? Okay, there we go. There we go. So we will work on Kalani's daily task later. But, is there anyone walking around the neighborhood? Oh, should we go introduce ourselves to someone? Who, oh, we got Don over here. Y'all, yeah, we're not getting involved with him. Um, Les 
Les is a cool name. She's a teen, though. Are there any young adults? I don't really want to be friends with Dawn. Or... A teen or anything. Is there, like, anyone? Bob Pancakes? I mean, he's always fantastic. That's a teen. Who is- that's a child. Let's- let's not say hi to him. Well, it is about noon. I don't know why I'm pausing it. So, we could go out in, like... A little bit. Let's just let them socialize a little bit, you know? Well, let's put the books back. Let's let them socialize a little bit. So we will ask about how her day is. And we will tell an engaging story to Kalani. We'll get to know her. Because, you know, they don't know each other that well yet. I mean, moving in with each other was just kind of a whim. Based off their similar interests. But... They have done it. They have taken the leap. And they are... They are doing it. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's have them do some... Travel. Nope, don't go on vacation. We do not have money to do that. Let's go ahead and travel with Kalana. And we're going to the map. So, let's do... That's a lounge. Where we have that place. That was really descriptive. Or we have the blue velvet, which I think is kind of how I'm feeling. Kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling it. I feel like it's a good place to talk to people, which is kind of what we want to do right now. So we will go to that the place in the place. Descriptions. Descriptions. Hmm. Okay. Here we are, and it looks like Belagoth is in here getting down. So let's go have them both introduce themselves to Bella because I adore her. And be like, how you doing? And did you introduce yourself? Let's tell a joke about ducks. For obvious reasons. Let's share a brilliant idea, I think is what that said. I'm pretty sure. Probably. Someone else is here. Oh, Liberty's here. Hello, Liberty. And... Kalani acquires a comedy skill. Interesting. How do you get to know Bella? Don't break your neck. She's like, awkwardly turning her head. How you been, Bella? How you been? Um, Vesper has learned the following traits about Bella. Family oriented. And we have Liberty dancing over here. Okay, great. Okay, great. So we'll let everyone hang out. And is this Pancake Bob over here? Oh, yes it is. And believe me, he is- Oh, he was serving up some drinks. He left. Okay, well. Now, our mixologist is Alexa- Who knows how to say that last name? And Vesper acquired the comedy skill, too. So more and more people are starting to show up. Oh, who's this? Oh, Johnny Zest. Oh, goodness. Go to you. Alright, well, let's, let's go ahead and have the girls introduce themselves to him. I mean, I think they would both eventually want to get married, so might as well say what's up to Johnny. What is his name? That was, that was his name. Johnny Zest. Just like a lemon. And he's this. Travis Scott. Let's say hi to him, too. I mean, just keeping our options open. Can we, like, not? Okay. Let's stop the group conversation. So, why don't you know, Johnny, I wanted to keep your options open, ladies. So, you know, Johnny... Okay, say hi to Travis. Say hello to Travis. Did you say hello to Travis? Do you know him now? Say hello to Travis! Vesper, listen to me. Vesper! I don't know why I just choose to yell at my sims, but... It works. Okay, are you... Did you say... Okay, it's all good. It's all good, guys. Don't panic. And you need to introduce yourself, too. She's listening to some blues. Okay, say hello. Say hello to him. Friendly introduction. Oh, do you have to go to the bathroom, actually? Okay, introduce yourself and then go use the bathroom. Or not. You know, that's okay, too. 
That's it's totally fine. Whatever, just go use the bathroom because I'd rather you not pee yourself. Like, really would rather not. So, why don't we go ahead... Okay. Are there two bathrooms in this place? There are. Cool. You go use the other bathroom then. Perfect. What do you want to do? Be funny with Kalani. She wants to go for a jog. Buy a computer. Interesting. I would buy a computer if we had money. It'd be stellar. Are there anything? Well, we'll look after we get some drinks in us. I was gonna find some collectibles, but you know. Might as well grab some stuff. So let's have them both order some chips. As soon as they use the bathroom. Okay, why are you not ordering chips? I told you to order chips. Can we, can we not? I'll bite. Well, let's, no. I don't want to make a drink. Well, I feel like we kind of accomplished our mission. We met some people. Oh, I had to sneeze. That is unpleasant. Oh, I think we found our future man right here. I mean, he's probably an adult. Oh, he's actually a young adult. <laughs> he's kind of hilarious. Um, anyway, let's see if there's anything we can collect because we are looking for simoleons and there's a child and a whole family. Is this? Who's this? Dylan Ponce. Oh, those eyebrows though. <laughs> like, for reals. Let's have them get over here, look for some frogs. Oh, we've got some, some stuff to dig. We'll have to have them get into fishing because that can also make quite a bit of simoleons doing that. And, yeah, we'll have to go to the one place where you get, like, really expensive fish. I think you can get expensive fish if you go through that, like, tree thing. You know that tree thing? And, um, you can get some pretty good stuff if you fish at the place in the park in the deserty world in the corner, that, like, lake right there. You get some good stuff, including cow plants. But, um, actually, we should get a cow plant. Let's, we're gonna do that next part, guys. Or, who knows when, for reals, but, uh. Eventually, cow plant, okay? Oh, I just spit. Cute. Didn't have to let everyone know that, because you can't see me, but I was like, why not? <sighs> okay, look for your frog. Find a frog. Did you find one? A surfer leaf frog. Interesting. It's only worth ten simoleons. Alrighty, well. Um, is there anything down here to grab? Because, you know, we need the cash. And who might this be? Who might this be? Elias. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We're going to let him keep walking because, uh, yeah. Yeah. She found a heavy metal. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a music genre, but it's actually a rock. <laughs> okay. Can we? Oh, I thought we could look for frogs. Ow, my knee is really hurting because the way I'm sitting on it, so we're moving so that I'm not sitting on my knee anymore. Ooh, we found a fossil. Exciting. Hopefully some of the stuff is worth something because, I mean, I think that'd be pretty great. Let's extract this. Ooh, it's worth 30 simoleons, guys. Guys, it's worth 30 simoleons. We found a sunflower frog. A fossilized plant imprint that's probably not worth much. Oh, 70 simoleons, that's actually kind of decent. That, fl that, that, flog. that frog is worth 30, this one is worth 10. Let's do a little bit of breeding right now. Oh! <gasps> it's an expensive frog. Oh, it's an expensive frog. We're gonna keep that frog so we can breed it with later frogs. And make a capital off of frog breeding. But then we can breed more of that expensive frog and then get more money. Yeah, see? Guys, I'm smart. See? See? Oh, it's a thing! This whole island's really nice, or what? It's like a peninsula? It's like a little peninsula? Like, could you imagine putting, like, 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 like? Could you imagine, like, having a wedding here? I mean, it'd be real cute. Oh, it's the boat! It's the steamboat. That's a steamboat, right? I had a history test recently, and I had to know who invented this steamboat. I think it was someone whose last name was Lowell. You learn something new every day watching my videos. Okay. Kalani, how you doing? Ooh, Vesper found some sapphire. Is it worth much? Not really. 
Sapphire is my birthstone. Ooh, we found a treasure map. Which, is it worth much? Eh, might as well keep it, because whatever it leads to might be worth more than 80 simoleons. I don't know if there is anything else in this area that is worth searching for, really, but... Might as well keep looking. Because... We don't have anything to do at home! Sorry if I'm, like, making you guys real nauseous by spinning y'all around. I mean, like, my computer screen is pretty huge. Like, it's the size of a small TV. So if I do this too often, I start to get, like, really nauseous, so... I'm just as nauseous as you are. And I'm not nauseous yet, so... Ooh, food! We get some free food, girls! Come on over here! Grab a serving. Oh, frogs! Oh, more stuff! Okay, when you get over here, you look for the frog. You dig that. Oh, she can actually dig for treasure. Let's dig for some treasure. Vesper? Okay, she is coming. I was like, did you get lost? So here they are, eating some stolen fruit. Could potentially be poisoned, but, you know, free food. I mean, you don't question that. Am I right? So Kalani has pulled out her um trusty oh, pickaxe. I don't think that was a pickaxe. I don't I don't know what it was. Um Kalani. <gasps> she got a voodoo doll. Kalani has unearthed a voodoo doll. What might she do with it? Oh, look at that evil smirk. She's like, you about to find out. We don't really have anyone we hate right now, but we'll keep it for later. I think it's actually worth Oh, it's worth so many simoleons, but I can't sell that. I just can't. I think my brother is like He's there in the garage or in his room. He's like jumping or something because he keeps making the floor like shake. It's really phenomenal. Um, hurry up and eat your grapefruit because you're taking 12 years. You're taking four score and seven years. What does that even mean? We found a leaf frog. She's real confident because she is. Oh, she's self assured. I was like, because she found a frog and she's like. Oh, uh, we have to wait till the frog isn't tired. I mean, come on. How tiring can frog breeding be? I mean, really. Okay, both you females. Actually, why do I always do it like that? Because I'm not smart. That's why. Let's go ahead and we will travel with Kalani Rosha. How am I saying her name? Roka? Did I just I... saying it Roka, right? Rosha? Did I decide how I'm saying it? I think I'm saying it Roka. I'm saying it Roka. I might be pronouncing it. No, I'm not pronouncing it wrong because Kalani told me that's how she pronounces her name. By the way, the world is called Oasis Springs because apparently I don't, I don't know anything. So we're gonna go back on home and get to bed and then I think that'll be it for this part because this is, you know, first parts are always just intro parts. It's running around and trying to get simoleons parts. They're never the most exciting parts ever. But I hope you guys are really excited for the series because I think it's something new that I haven't really seen. And I just want to push the whole female empowerment idea and the whole riot girl movement because I think it's just the coolest thing. So, anyway, um... Yes. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to y'all later. And yeah, bye!